afternoon everybody today I'm going to show you how to do another step in the process of making your cloth doll today I'm going to show you how to do the doll faces okay if you look at one of the other videos we cut out our doll pattern from a piece of fabric now we're, I'm going to show you how to do this using an embroidery machine to make the doll face. So I'm cutting a piece of stabilizer material that you get from the craft shop and that's what this is. When you're doing machine hoop, hoop H-O-O-P embroidery, you need a piece of stabilizer to attach to the back of the fabric. And this is really, 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 really important. Um, and I'm gonna use a little bit of spray adhesive, and you get this in the craft shop. This is, you have to make sure you get the one that they have in the craft shop that's washable and, um, you know, comes right out. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of this onto the fabric, and then I'm gonna line up my piece of stabilizer and just kind of smooth it down so it'll stick like that and I'm going to take my embroidery hoop and put the lay the doll down in there oops I'm sorry lay it down in here this way so you're laying it in the top piece of the hoop that goes onto your sewing and bordering machine. Now I've kind of got this off a little bit. It's a little sidetracked. So this adhesive is stick re is re sticky. It, it allows you to reposition it. So I'm just gonna move this up a little bit because I didn't really like the uh, original initial placement. So you're gonna look for there'll be a little arrow on your embroidery hoop. So I'm going to line it up here. Now, with my embroidery hoop, I use the edge that actually attaches to the machine as my guide for where about the doll's ears would be and her eye sight line so that it the face will be fairly symmetrical and lined up. Then, you take the other part of your hoop and you just want to press it down. Now, on your hoop, there's a little device that you tighten the hoop. And it does have to be as tight as you can get it. Because if you don't tighten this, when your machine starts embroidering, it's, it can come apart, it can jam up. I'm sure a lot of bad things can happen. They're just going to slow down the progress of your project. So I'm just going to tighten this a wee bit, wee bit, tighten it, tighten it. And then you can kind of tap it a little bit like a drum to make sure it's tight. And sometimes you can even tug, oops, at the fabric or the stabilizer a little bit to make sure that it's in there. And just tightening this a wee bit more. And as you can see, you basically have the head which will be the face of your doll into your embroidery hoop. Okay, so I'm just gonna fold their little arms in and over because when I'm running it through the machine, you don't want it to snag or get caught in your embroidery machine. And then I'm just going to, to pin it down for right now. And let me actually, let me say I'm gonna pin it back because you wanna keep this out of the way of the embroidery needle and what it has to do. Okay, so now we'll take this over to the embroidery machine and start on the next step.